What are you guys gonna do with a snowball? <laughs> People are not like Dream when it comes to covering up cheats in their manhunts. These are the world's funniest fake manhunts, and they get worse as the video goes on. This manhunt starts off with the runner and hunter being next to a village. The runner goes towards the village and then goes to a blacksmith that was in the village to find a lot of obsidian, diamonds, and a golden apple, and iron. This seems extremely unlikely, but I'm gonna let it slide. He was about to grab the items, but was interrupted by the hunter. The hunter and runner fight after a while of constant hitting. The runner wins the fight. They loot the chest, and I'm still skeptical about the chest loot. He then goes to another village house that contains wood. He uses the wood to make a crafting table and sticks. They then craft a diamond axe with the diamonds that they found in the blacksmith. Why are they mining wood from the house? Wait, how did they get a netherite axe? What is happening? How did they get full netherite armor? What? Why does he keep killing the hunter? This is totally normal. With the obsidian that they got from the blacksmith, they built another portal. They didn't have a flint steel, so they went to get some from the ocean. After many failures of trying to get flint, they finally did, lit the nether portal, and now they're in the nether. They block up the portal with wood blocks. Yeah, that will totally work. The hunter also has netherite armor. I think they figured out the runner's secret. The hunter has broken through their impossible wood barrier. I can't believe this. The hunter then chases the runner past a lava pool, but the runner outsmarts them and blocks them up, and the runner falls falls into lava. They then finish them off and kills them. The runner runs away and mines off into a random direction. After mining for like 5 minutes straight, he finally finds the exit and jumps down and then bridges off for a bit and then gets tired of bridging so they fly to the fortress. While they were at the fortress, they kill some blazes for some blaze rods. They summon some endermen with the command and repeatedly do this a bunch of times and kill all the endermen with their sword for some pearls. After they are done, they go back to the portal that they entered through and leave the nether. Once they are in the overworld, they go off into another direction and then find a diamond block in the ground. And when they mine it, the hunter is behind them. The hunter Hunter then shoots them with a bow that somehow <laughs> shoots TNT at them. This is crazy. What? The runner then mines down in the spot where the diamond blocks are and finds the end portal room. The end portal has only one eye missing. What the heck is this dream type luck here? The runner then goes through the portal and is now in the end. The runner shoots their multi shot crossbow at the spawn point and knocks off the hunter. This seems totally fair. He tries to destroy one of the crystals but fails and dies. What a fail. This next man hunt starts off with the runner and hunter looking straight at each other. The runner hits the hunter and runs towards an already lit ruined portal. Yeah, so far this seems so legit. They open a chest and find full chainmail armor and obsidian and an enchanted golden apple as well as a sharpness 5 golden sword. I take back what I said about this manhunt being legit. This manhunt is super legit. They were going to get all the items from the chest but then got distracted by the hunter constantly hitting them with their fist. They kill the hunter with two hits using the sword and then they go back to the chest and loot the rest of the chest. After they are done with that they go through the nether portal and now they're in the nether. They spawn next to a cave thing that has a sign that says new update nether highway to fortress. I can't wait for that update and I bet Dream can either. They go up to the staircase and follow the path all the way to the nether fortress. While on the pathway, they fight a hoglin and when they kill it, they somehow get knocked off, which is hilarious. <laughs> That's a huge fail. Instead of building up like a normal player, they go into creative and fly all the way back up and switch back to survival mode. They reach the end of the pathway and find a chest that is apparently another one of Mojang's feature updates. This update seems crazy. The runner finds fully enchanted netherite armor and a bow and a netherite sword all maxed out in enchants. What the heck is happening? With all the stuff that they found, they kill blazes for blaze rod and then goes to a portal that is already lit. So far, this doesn't seem cheated in at all. I'm joking, by the way. After going through the portal, he looks around and finds a giant block of gold that apparently is cheese. They build up using their netherite blocks to get on top of the cheese and find a sign that says to follow the cheese pathway. They follow the cheese pathway and while walking, the hunter gives himself speed and catches up to the runner. The hunter tries to kill the runner but fails miserably. The hunter falls off the platform. The runner keeps going on the path and reaches the end of the path. They find a hole in the ground that leads to the stronghold. They try to find the end portal but was interrupted by the hunter again. The consistency of the hunter is amazing, but still, the runner kills the hunter easily. He goes to the portal, but finds another update feature sign. How many updates are there gonna be in 1.18? The end of the portal has all of the eyes filled in, but one thing is off with the portal. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, that's right, it's already lit. He jumps into the portal and is now in the end. They are greeted with a hole that leads to the surface already. The hunter tries to kill the runner with end crystals. They do some damage, but doesn't fully kill them. They try again and successfully kill the runner. 
the runner loses and the hunter wins. This next manhunt is absolutely insane. Instead of two people, there's four. Let's see how this plays out. It starts out with the runner running away. Typical. After being chased for a little, the runner then goes into creative and flies away. The runner then gives themselves full leather armor. Out of anything else, you could have just given yourself better gear. But who am I to judge? They switch back to survival and continue running. They find a village and go into one of the houses. There was a random cut that happened in the video and somehow they're in creative. They go into the house and find full diamond armor and tools in the chest, and then leave the village and travel off into a random direction. While traveling, they fight some mobs but nearly die to some, so they go into creative and give themselves a shield. They're in the middle of the ocean and they build another portal, build a platform, and light the portal all while being in creative. He goes through the nether and travels a bit, but was interrupted by two of the hunters. One of the hunters are in full iron with a shield and the other one's in three-fourths iron with gold pants. The runner kills one of the hunters and the other hunter runs away. I guess the roles were reversed. I can't believe the three-fourths iron hunter did not fight the full diamond guy. After the runner kills one of the hunters, they twerk on their body. This is just cruel. After his gloating moment, he travels off and finds another fortress. They explore the fortress to try and find some blazes. Once they do, they kill some, but unfortunately they find only one blaze, and due to this, they go into creative and give themselves a stack of blaze rods. The runner encounters all of the hunters at once, Two hunters have full iron armor, while the other one has fully enchanted netherite armor. Yeah, that's totally fair. The runner hits the hunter that has full netherite armor and kills them in one shot. What the heck? This scares all the other hunters away. The runner then collects their items and puts it on. This is going to give the runner a huge advantage in the run. The runner chases after the hunters and nearly kills one of them. The runner then decides that they weren't worth their time. So instead, they ran in the opposite direction and went into creative to build another portal to exit the nether. On the other side of the portal, they spawn in a stone type biome i think what's funny is that they make a crafting table in order to craft the eyes of ender like you have a crafting menu in your inventory two of the hunters are behind him but the runner has the teleportation command ready to teleport to the stronghold right before the hunters attack the runner he teleports to the stronghold leaving the hunters in the dust the hunters were not too happy that they teleport away because now they are calling hacks on them just get a better gaming chair the runner then mines down directly into the stronghold and tries to find the end portal but fails to so instead they get end portals from creative and build their own DIY. DIY end portal. The funny thing is, is that the hunters found the real end portal and they made it into the end before the runner did. The runner then fills in all the eyes and then goes through the end portal. What the runner didn't expect was that the hunters were way more overpowered than the runner. I'm so intrigued on how this will end. They all had multi-shot crossbows and were all shooting at the runner at the same time. This overwhelmed the runner and they ran away. In chat, they said what's happening currently wasn't part of the script. That's hilarious. They all attacked the runner at once, but what's weird is that they're all invisible. They get the runner as low as three hearts they then knock the runner into the void and the runner dies and that's the end of the run let me know what all of you guys think about these fake minecraft manhunts in the comment section down below and also let me know if you think i should continue with these fake minecraft manhunt videos as well